Wait till, wait till I get a hold of Rima. He doesn't show up today. Well, what, uh, boy, where to start, huh? What a, uh, what a two month stretch that was. Uh, it, uh, I've talked about it a lot. Uh, you've heard the guys talk about it a lot, uh, how things kind of got back on track and, and how it all went. Uh, and obviously talked about it last night, just how proud, uh, how proud I am of those three seniors and this team for taking us on another thrill ride. Uh, doesn't go this way every year, as, as we know. You like to win the championship. You like to play in the NCAA tournament. That's what, uh, that's what you're striving for every year. But it's really hard to do. And uh, for these guys to get it turned around and give us that opportunity again, I think is just absolutely tremendous. Yeah. Could not be more proud. Uh, we, uh, again, as we all know, I, we made history on both sides this weekend. You don't make half quarters to win NCAA tournament games, and and you don't uh, you don't blow leads like uh, like that. Um, so we, we got in the history books on both sides of it. And as I talk to our guys about all the time, not just in this situation, when you're a part of something special like we are here at the University of Northern Iowa, you will uh, handle the good and the bad with uh, the best possible class that you can. And and that's where I give our guys a lot of credit, because that, that's a tough one to do. And uh, the way that uh, Bo and Paul and Wes handled themselves is you know, beyond, uh, beyond awesome. So uh, really proud of those guys for that as well. I think with that, I would take questions. So many people are going to, outside the program, remember what <clears throat> happened last night. But yeah. For the seniors, what's their legacy for this program? Yeah, I had. Uh, I was texting. <clears throat> I was texting Colin early this morning, putting him putting him to work. I uh, I wanted to find out, uh, you know, from a competitive standpoint, part of their history is there are 13 teams in the country over the last two years that have won 54 games and been to the round of 32. 13 out of 351 that have done that. Uh, and when you put you know when you put some of those numbers into context. Uh, it's really pretty remarkable, right? That uh, that we're one of those 13 teams that has done that over the course of the last two years. And well, for the guys this year, when you graduate the senior class that we graduated a year ago, and then your responsibility is to do it again with not as much experience and not as much depth, that that is a uh, tremendously difficult thing to accomplish. And then to be two and six in the league and ten and eleven. And still get it done, uh, you know. I, I certainly, uh, and the guys won't go into all the details, and I won't go into all the details of all the conversations and and all the behind the scenes of that stretch of two, three weeks when we had to get things going again. But um, you know, in, in saying that, uh, I think we can all understand the difficulty in, in coming out of that and doing it again, and and it speaks directly to what what those three guys are all about. So I, I think uh, the numbers speak for themselves, but they are better young men than those numbers can, can even come close to saying about them. <clears throat> you know, thinking of depth and 